Welcome back to another video. My name is Miles and today we're looking at the Keystone Fusion 379. This is going to be a great toy hauler for people looking to entertain whether it be inside or outside. And real quick before we get started, hit the like and subscribe button down below. If you think about it, what does hitting the like button do? It doesn't do anything other than just show support for the video. It doesn't do anything to you, you know, it just makes the like little icon there change a different color. So there's really no harm in clicking it other than helping this video get spread to more people and reach a further audience to get into the RV community. So hit that like button down below and then hit the subscribe button if you like checking out these RV walkthrough videos. I try to upload two to three videos a week if not more. So hit the subscribe button down below to stay up to date with all that stuff. And you already know the 2022 models are coming out real soon. So stay tuned for all that. I can't wait for them to get here. I'm super anxious, but it's looking like it's gonna be probably another two to four to six weeks, somewhere in that range to get the 2022s in. But as soon as they are, I'm gonna be doing a ton of videos on the 2022s and I'm really excited for that. Also check out my Instagram and TikTok page here. This is where you're gonna find more short form videos that are a lot easier for me to make and I can just run through the RVs real quick in 30 to 60 seconds and show you what they look like. So go check that out. And then finally, if you come into Holiday World and my videos were the reason that you decided to come check out Holiday World or give us a call, just let them know that you saw my videos. It's a little way that I can get some sort of reward for the work I put in to make these videos. It is currently feeling like, I'm pretty sure it's feeling like over 100 degrees right now out here. And we're about to do a really comprehensive walkthrough of this toy hauler. I'm gonna be sweating my butt off, but I love doing it. I feel privileged every day that I get to come and make these videos for y'all. So if you do choose to call or contact Holiday World or come into Holiday World and you saw my videos, let them know that that's how, or that's what got you in the door there. So I would really appreciate that. That's all I got. Let's go take a look at this toy hauler. So as you can see here, we have a few different Keystone Fusion toy haulers right now. We have four different ones, but I really like this one as far as its ability to entertain, like I was saying, two things that are gonna lead to that are your outdoor kitchen and then the indoor space that you have. So that's what kind of makes this pretty unique for this toy hauler. Real quick though, let's talk about the specs. This is gonna be about a 40 to 41 foot toy hauler and it's gonna be about 14,500 pounds on the dry weight. I'll get your specs up here on the screen though so you can see exactly what we're working with as far as your tank sizes and everything like that. So give you a second to look those over and see where we're at on this toy hauler. The Fusions are going to come with three ACs. All three ACs can be ran at the same time on your 50 amp service or from the generator. So you will have the 5,500 watt generator from Onan and you will be able to run all three ACs at the same time. The other big thing about that though is that you can actually run two ACs at the same time if you're on a 30 amp service. So that's gonna be a huge benefit as well, getting the power to run two ACs at the same time on 30 amp service and because of that, the way that they have their ACs ducted, you're gonna have your three ACs back here and you can't see them because I have the awnings out. But your rear AC in the garage is actually going to be on a separate system from your two ACs in the living area. That way you don't have any cross contamination from any fumes in the garage if you have motorcycles or bikes or a four x four or anything like that back there. You don't have any cross contamination going into your living area because that AC system in your living area is not ducted into the garage. So that'll give you your own climate control in the garage and you will not have that cross contamination. So pretty sweet there. You can see uh, right here, you have your battery terminal. I have this battery box hooked up so we have power, but you're gonna have room for up to two or three batteries on this toy hauler. Then you're gonna have your pass through storage compartment. You're gonna have the in-command system here, which is all your color coordinated wiring that comes with the in-command system. So basically when you pop this panel off, you have a legend with all of your wiring. Every single wire has its own designated color and label on the legend. So finding any electrical issues is very easy. And whether you're troubleshooting something yourself or you're taking it in for service, it's gonna speed up time and save you money. So big benefit there that Keystone has on their trailers that have the in-command system. Let's go around to the front cap real quick because I realized we didn't even look at that and see how nice this Fusion front end looks. I definitely like the color scheme of the Fusion a whole lot with the black, blue, gray, and white. Looks really, really good. And just wanted to give you a chance to see that. You also have your blue um, docking lights there. And you'll have the Road Armor pin box. So this will be part of your um, towing control here where you'll have 
this rubber, really thick, hard, sturdy rubber gasket here that's gonna absorb a lot of the shock of your towing. And then this head here will pivot back and forth to catch a lot of the chucking when you're towing. If you think about accelerating and braking, how this is gonna be moving in your hitch, that is going to absorb a lot of that contact there. So one thing that Fusion does that's pretty unique is they actually drop the frame underneath here. So you can see this part that drops down right there. They drop that frame. And what that does is it allows space for this storage compartment. And what this storage compartment is great for, which I should have put in here, is the steps for the patio. So this toy hauler comes with steps to get onto your patio and they are stored in the garage right now, but they fit in this compartment perfectly and still give you plenty of space for other stuff. So that's one way that it could be used, but obviously it could be used for any other way that you find fit as well. You're gonna have your propane bottles in here and you see you have plenty of space in there. And then your Onan generator is gonna be right in here. For some reason they had the panel off on this one so you can actually see the inside components of what it looks like. But this is gonna be the Onan 5500 watt generator that you have inside here. Now let's go to the back. There's actually a heat advisory warning in Texas right now or in Dallas County where I'm at. So that tells you how hot it is. So I'm trying to get all this outside stuff knocked out so we can get inside. Not that the inside is any cooler because the ACs are not on, but just trying to get through it in a way that I show you all the information that you need to know, but not kill myself outside in the heat. So on this outside kitchen area, you're gonna have this suburban, um, almost like a blackstone type of griddle, which is really cool. Um, this is something that I have not seen much of. And the first time I've seen this on a fusion toy hauler outdoor kitchen. So really like that, think that's really cool to store it. It actually just flips up like this. Oh, got it, okay. To store it, it just flips over like that and then you push this in and you have your propane line behind there. In addition to the griddle, you have your TV out here that is up nice and high so everybody can see it. And then you'll have your mini dorm room style refrigerator. It's still taped closed. But then you also have solid metal countertops, which is really nice as well for the quality aspect of it and your outlets. So outdoor kitchen space here in a great spot right underneath the awning, underneath all your shade where you're gonna wanna be hanging out. And then you'll have your outdoor speakers right here for all your outside entertainment. Looking underneath here, you're going to have the Goodyear Endurance tires. These are going to come with a six year warranty and definitely from what I've heard are the best and most highly regarded tires for an RV out there on the market right now. So those are going to come standard on your Fusion toy haulers, another huge benefit. And then moving along to the side, let me find my keys real quick so we can open up this compartment door. This is going to be kind of like your toolbox area. I have no idea which key is going to open this up. So let's hope it doesn't take me like the very last try to find the right one. I think it's actually this black one here. Let's hope that this is it. The sweat is already dripping down my face. It is so hot. There we go. Okay. So this is going to be like a tool compartment. So when you're, you know, going to get your toys into your toy hauler, get them out, whatever it may be, this is where you're going to store a lot of that stuff and then you'll have your outlets underneath here. So you have power underneath there as well. Biggest benefit to this is a lot of toy haulers, they put their tool storage compartment in the garage. Well, if you have your toys parked on top of the access door to get to your tools, that doesn't really do you any good. So putting this on the outside maintains that you'll always be able to access your tools no matter what your situation is. We got that closed. We're gonna move back to the patio aspect of this toy hauler you're gonna have the two awnings back here and then you'll have another awning back here and i'm actually gonna get all this patio stuff set up so you can see with the awning out exactly how it looks all right lots to talk about as far as this patio setup goes first of all you're gonna have an electric key right here so right there you'll have your electric key that you can use to open up this garage door but then you can also go inside and there will be a pull switch inside so I'll go show you that real quick and show you how to release the garage door from the inside of the trailer. Since I do not have the key on me, we'll do it this way. And you'll just pull this right there and it'll pop open. So now we're open. Let's go back outside and open it up from out there. Now this is going to be a 
um, zero G door by Moride. So basically what that means is it is going to support itself as far as the weight goes for the patio door. So you'll see when I pull this down, it does not want to fall on me. You know, it'll stay just about right there. It might come, start coming down just a little bit, but you'll see how basically it's going to support its own weight pretty dang well. And then one thing to know, Truck. One thing to know about closing your toy hauler garage door is when you have the seals on this garage door that are as tight as Fusions are, they have a really good seal system on here. If you try to go here and close it, it will not close. So even when I push pretty hard, it's not closing. The reason why is the air inside the garage needs room to escape so that that door can close. So you actually have to open the side door over here. When I open the side door, now I'll be able to close it. Just like that. That's something I just learned here recently because I was always like, dang, why are these doors so hard to close? It's because the seals are so strong on this garage door that you need room for the air to escape and the side door is the only place that that air has room to escape. But anyways, I'm gonna go inside, I'm gonna open up the garage here and then put the patio out so you can see the patio system. The only thing I'm not gonna do is put these arms down you'll see these legs there legs i said arms those are definitely legs but those legs there are going to come down flat on the ground the reason they have that is because you have a side a side entrance to the patio where the steps will set up that the cable system would be in the way for so if you disconnect that cable system you can put the legs down and allow yourself to have side access to the patio well, let me go put this garage down from the inside and we'll set up the patio and show you how that looks You have your patio set up. Then let's get the awning out. So you'll have your complete patio set up here. You'll see you have the awning up there and then there's two arms underneath the awning that do come down. So you can see they come out from right here. Those will come down and actually go all the way down to the ground. So you can get more stabilization on the awning. Then you're going to have two outdoor lights here that are really bright LED lights and you do have backup camera prep as well if you want that. So that'll be your whole patio setup out here. Like I was saying, it's a side entrance patio. So your steps will set up right there. And then for going in and out of your patio to the garage, you have glass doors. So these here, they lift up from the bottom, but they're tinted glass and they can actually fill up this whole space. So they're like a three season door. <laughs> I apologize for the interruption. I guess it's so hot out today, we gotta take heat breaks. So we'll see how much I can get through in this video. But basically wanted to point out your patio door here. You do have the actual tinted glass doors that will come all the way up to the top. So you can actually have a windscreen here so no wind or anything will come into the space. Then as we move back, actually let's go this way. One of the most important things you're going to have in this Fusion toy hauler is their exclusive 38 tie down system. So these tie downs here between all these different ladder racks that you have, there are 38 tie down points in this garage. And all of these are going to be welded to the frame with 5,000 pounds of um, a 5,000 pound rating essentially. So all welded to the frame, it's going to have more tie down positions than any other garage that I've seen. So really, really cool system there for your tie down system, making tying your vehicles down or your toys down easier than ever. Another thing that is pretty unique to the Fusion is you're gonna have a ladder storage compartment here, which I believe is locked. So let me get my keys back out and see if we can figure out which key's gonna open this up. There it is, all right. So underneath here, let's keep that open. Underneath here, you're gonna have storage for your ladder to get up to the bunks right there and then you also can fit whatever else up in here that you may want um i've seen people like attach cargo netting and things like that to this door so you could do that as well but that's going to be a nice storage compartment that you have inside there this is going to be 11 foot garage in this floor plan that we have here and then i'm going to show you how these bunks work so if you're loading your toys in and you need more height that is how you will arrange these bunks so that you get the maximum height offered for getting your toys in here but if you need more width, 
then what you can do is you can actually bring these both together in the bed formation and then push them up against this bunk up here and that will give you a wider clearance in this space also want to point out it is an 11 foot garage however because of your tinted glass doors that you have here it's going to be more of something around probably about 10 and a half feet or so in your true length that you have in this garage space but i want to show you how these beds will move around and what you can do with them so you'll have a pin right here so you can pull this pin out Pull that pin, pull this pin. You'll be able to slide this up like this. And then it will lock into place, like so, and like so. Both of those locked into place now. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. Okay, so once you have those in that position, then your pin will just go back into this spot right here. Once those are in place, you can begin to move them down. Now, your controls to move everything are going to be right up here. So this will be your bed lift controls, and then you also have, it looks like, your light controls and your awning controls up there. Now when we hold this switch down, these two benches that we have in the bed formation right now will start coming down. So there you will have your bottom queen size bed. And then if you want this top bunk to come down with it, you actually just raise this all the way up to the top. So you'll raise that up there and then you'll pull these pins right here. And this top queen bed will come down with it. And then you will place the pins right in here. When you get, there they are. You'll place the pins right in there when it gets to that height and that'll stop your queen bed right there so you'll have your two bunk beds set up. So let me show you how these make into the bench. So now that you have your bed set up, to get it into the bench, you're just gonna flip these up like this right here. They'll kind of flip around like so. You'll have your armrest, the two cup holders, and that'll be the same on this side as well. have your cup holders and that will give you your two benches. You'll also have a leg that drops down underneath here to give you more support for these benches as well. So that'll be your setup and then it will come with a table that is up underneath this top uh, queen size bed on the bunk. So I'm not going to get it out but there is a bench up underneath here. You can see uh, the indentation on the mattress there how it's kind of sticking up that's because there's a bench underneath there so you will have a table that will sit between these two benches for hanging out and playing card games or having food or whatever it may be and then you're gonna have your different lights in here so you'll have a light back here and back here these will kind of be like to have above your bed when you're having this in the down position then you'll have two speakers in here and your AC unit plus you have a TV equipped as well and this TV will actually swivel down, so it'll come down and sit in this position right here. So you can see it from all the way out on the patio, or you can see it while you're sitting down in there. That's gonna be everything inside this garage that I can think of. I don't think I missed anything that needs to be touched on in this aspect of the trailer. So let's go look in the living area and see what that looks like. Oh, actually, no, there is one other thing. I wanna show you this, cause this is pretty dang cool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk into the living space and I'm gonna show you this glass door, how soundproof it is. I'm gonna set the camera up on the other side of this door and I'm gonna keep talking and then I'm gonna close the door and show you the sound difference. So if you have kids or family that wants to go hang out in the garage and be loud and that's gonna be their you know, main designated spot to be rowdy or whatever it may be, listen to this, how crazy this is right here. So basically I'm gonna be talking, talking, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going back here. We're gonna have a good time. We're gonna be loud and rowdy and I'm just gonna keep talking at the same volume as I am right now and I'm gonna close the door. I'm gonna keep talking. And you're gonna see me talking and you probably can hardly hear me at all, if at all. And that's one of the coolest things about this is how that muffles the sound. They have a really large gasket around the outside. You can't hear what I'm saying. See, I was talking back there trying to tell you about why it does that and I was like, wait, they can't even hear me. So the reason why this blocks out the sound so well 
because you have this really thick gasket on the framing of the door so it's going to block out a lot of that sound as well as the glass this is your living space in the fusion 379 and you see why i say it's built for entertaining when you have your garage space back here with your entertainment space with the benches and then you have two um recliners there and then a pull out sofa you're gonna have a good amount of seating space in here now keep in mind this is a dual axle toy hauler that's not gonna be you know one of your big triple axle toy haulers so if you're weight conscious and trying to stay you know under 15,000 pounds and you still want to maximize your entertainment space this is definitely a good option to look at you're gonna have your stove over here as well as your microwave and this will be a convection oven combo or a convection microwave combo so you'll have that there. It's gonna be a really large residential size. You'll have a three burner stove and your oven in here. Underneath here will be storage for different pots and pans. And then you actually have two swivel tables. So that's what these are. Those go in these little holes on your recliners that you have right here. They'll have a rod that goes in there. So you have a little swivel table. So you have an eating surface or just a spot to put your phones or whatever it may be. Next to that, you're gonna have your RV style refrigerator. So it is going to be an 18 cubic foot refrigerator. Has tons of space in here. And this freezer portion will go all the way through. There's no divide in there or anything like that. And then this is gonna be all your kitchen countertop and storage space that you have here. So a really nice design. The half bath is behind here and I really like how they laid this out. Having that half bath behind there, I think this looks really nice, really elegant and is a great looking space. So you'll have drawers to the left that will open up like that and a storage cabinet underneath here. Two cabinets that open there. Also while we're here, you'll have your bunk overhead so this will be a great split, a great space, sorry, for storage or a great sleeping spot for one of the kids that wants to be up and more secluded. It's a pretty cool spot up there. And you'll also have storage up above here as well. So higher storage, but you can put some stuff up there. You also have nice LED lighting up above that spot. And then you have a shelf here for different spices or whatever you feel fit to put there. Here's your storage underneath the sink with your trash can. And then you'll have two more pull out drawers over here. And same thing on this side with your storage. It'll come with these sink covers here. They're nice wooden style and then it'll be a single basin sink. So a nice large single basin sink that you got stainless steel kitchen appliances and two slide outs in this living area. So your recliners here are going to be in the slide out and your TV all the way down to the oven is going to be in the slide out as well. Every window is gonna have blackout shades. So these will pull down and you'll have your blackout shades. That'll be on every window in here, except for the ones that are in the garage aspect of the um, toy hauler. So as long as they're not in the garage, you're gonna have your pull down shades and you'll have more storage compartments up here above the pull out sofa. These are gonna be really deep. And then you'll have a two here that are just a little bit more shallow, but still really deep in their own regard as well. You also have the pull out sofa. So if you start talking about sleeping, you can sleep up to four people in the garage portion, then a fifth, and then a sixth or a seventh with the pull out sofa, and then eight or nine in the bedroom. So huge sleeping capacity in here not to mention you can put people on the floor in here as well it does come with a carpet so that's your carpet right there that you'll have so you could lay that down on the floor and you could sleep more on the floor so sleeping capacity is definitely going to be maxed out in this toy hauler and huge opportunity to sleep a ton of people if that's what you need uh two more storage spots in this kitchen you're going to have above the microwave so another deep storage compartment here as well and then above the television really really deep storage compartment there whoa i was actually surprised when i opened that up i did not realize how big that was going to be because i know the outdoor kitchen is behind this tv but it must not be behind there because that is massive so there won't be anything behind the tv because there is the outdoor kitchen behind it but you'll have all your sound controls there and you'll have your fireplace that will put out heat as well oh and this was another door i didn't even notice actually so 
you have another storage drawer underneath the refrigerator. So that's gonna be everything in the living space. Another thing about the fusions that I really like is all your slide outs. You can see they do not have carpet on them. So they just have this like wooden finish or trim on the finish here. Let me get down at that level. So no carpet coming over your slide outs. It's gonna be a more residential style feel with your slide out boxes and how they are finished out on the inside as well. So that's everything inside here. In this area, let's go up into the bathroom and bedroom space. This is gonna be part of your in-command system where everything that you see on this screen, you'll be able to control from your phone. This will link to your phone and you'll be able to control it from there. So you can see you have a fresh water tank, two black tanks and two gray tanks. And then you also have your fuel that you can check and all of these controls. So everything will be controlled from there or your phone. You're gonna have a pass through bathroom. So coming in here, it's gonna be a porcelain toilet residential shower so same style shower you would have at your home with the skylight in there so you have plenty of height and then it's going to have stainless steel finishes on your appliances in here you do have the seat in the shower like i said porcelain toilet and then your sink will be here with your medicine cabinet can't forget the fan in the bathroom got to have the fan so you will have that there as well and then going into the bedroom you're going to have a king size bed a full wall wardrobe that wardrobe will go wall to wall and then you're going to have two pull out drawers with your tv so these drawers are going to be pretty deep in there and then you'll have washer dryer hookups in the bedroom so that will be right here you would basically take this shelf out if you want the washer dryer and then this will slide there and you'll have all this wardrobe space then in addition to that you have more wardrobe space over here back in this compartment so That'll be where you can hang your clothes up and you'll have the shelf over top as well. Whew, it is getting hot. I'm about to wrap this thing up because it is getting so hot out here. As you know, it's <laughs> about as hot as it could get. And we've already had some technical difficulties because of how hot it is. But I want to make sure y'all get a chance to see everything in here. So that door will open up as well. Both will latch in just like that. Should be storage underneath the bed. Let's lift that up. Yep, you have your storage underneath here, your hose for your central vac system, and then some of your, um, whatever these things would be called. I, why can I not think of the name? That's how hot it is, my brain is just fogging up. But basically you have your things for your manual overrides for slide outs and things like that. Um, windows on each side of the bed. You also have little storage cubbies next to the bed here as well. Underneath, looks like nothing underneath there, so nothing special. You do have an outlet right here next to the bed. And let's see what we got going on on this side. If we have any outlets. Uh, so outlet or USB chargers underneath there. I do not see any actual outlets underneath here. So I hope that's something I'm not just missing, but there's USB chargers in there, but I'm not seeing outlets. So it looks like there's not outlets on this side of the bed that I'm seeing, unless there's something I'm missing. There is something I'm missing. Somebody let me know down below in the comments. But I want to look in here one more time, make sure sometimes they do put them in the closet. I don't see an outlet. So just want to point that out as well. You will have the USB outlets on this side or the USB ports and you'll have your actual outlet over here. I'm assuming this one has USB ports in here as well. Yes, it does. So you will have your USB ports in there and that'll take care of that. So. That's pretty much everything in your bedroom space. It is the east to west facing bed, so it gives you lots of floor space and all your wardrobe space. And that's pretty much it. I cannot wait to get out of here because it is so dang hot. Whew. Oh my gosh. Man, just look at her. Ain't she a beauty? I know you want that behind your truck. I know you do. But there's two things that I missed I want to go over real quick. One is going to be with the roof, with the roof membrane. It is made by Alpha Flex. And it comes with an 18-year warranty. So that TPO roof that you have up there will have an 18-year warranty. And then, I'm so hot and tired, I can't even remember if I talked about this or not, but you have 60 gallons of fuel capacity. So you're gonna have 30 gallons for your generator and then 30 gallons for your toys with your fuel pump here. So that'll all be taken care of in this area. And you'll have all this fuel on board with up to 60 gallons to make sure you're good to go, even if you're boondocking or anything like that and far away from any gas stations.
But that's everything I got for y'all on this Fusion 379. Like I said, if you come into Holiday World or if you give us a call, my contact information will be at the end of this video. Let them know that you saw my videos and hope you liked it. Hit the like button down below. Hit the subscribe button. Check out my TikTok, Instagram page, all that stuff. It's so hot in here. I'm about to get back inside. But I will see y'all next time and I'll catch y'all out camping.